This is FS Smash. I saw the Fire Emblem Heroes, the new banner that's been released on Nintendo Mobile. And I saw Lizithia on, on the banner and I couldn't be any more excited because like Lizithia is like the best character. Um, I personally would not react to a banner typically because I don't play Fire Emblem Heroes, but I'm really intrigued and I honestly want to see who else is in the banner. So unfortunately, of course, the banner, I know for a fact that banners now reveal all four characters. So you're just gonna have to trust me on this, and all I know is that Lizifia is here, and I'm just gonna close my eyes for the next for the for, for the beginning, and then until I hear something, I'm gonna open my eyes. So let's just let's just see this uh, Fire Emblem Heroes banner. All right, all right, all right. Closing my eyes, closing my eyes. I'm just gonna wait until I hear hear something, because I don't want to see I don't want to see who who appears. I, I know Lizifia is there, but but I gotta see. Okay, I hear. Her. I got Bernadetta, internal owner. I just hide in my room. I was gonna... That's okay, right? <laughs> I guess that's okay. Oh god, we're back with the Yu-Gi-Oh! So uh, weapon descriptions. I guess we can roll back and see how they work. Wow, they're really short now, huh? Overachiever. And then that's I know I should be cool, I guess. Easy. I'm personally not a fan that's of Annette, hard. and honestly the relic weapon she uses is a bit absurd. But honestly, it's like the relic weapons are made for the people at the time, at at the creation of the relic weapons, so that's fair. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Why you don't say the line? You have to say the line. Jeez, ah, oh, why do you do him like that? No skills. I mean, that's all right, I guess. And here it is, Lizifia. You may count on me. Why? Why is her? Dang, her hair is round. <laughs> you can see her little chibi. I mean, she was bound to appear because we saw her at the end of the Fate Pass announcement, the most controversial thing ever. And I completely missed all the skills. Nice. I wonder who's gonna be the bonus unit for this. Probably can see in the back. Why is Surtur back? I thought he died. Grand Hero Battle, we're getting the Flame Emperor. Gee, I wonder who's the who is the Flame Emperor. Totally, totally not gonna end up spoiling it in the in the dialogues, probably like they did with freaking original Edelgard with the silver axe being practically the same as the Flame Emperor. Oh no, spoilers. <laughs> oh, that's a really cool banner. It actually looks pretty promising. Uh thank god none of the orbs are shared. At least I think so. Hold on. Yeah, each each hero. Or that's cool. That's cool. I don't think I can look up artwork on here. Hold on. Let me see the skills back. So with Bernadetta, we have the Persecution Bow. It's effective against flyers, like with most bows. Grants plus three attack at the start of combat if penalty is active on unit, or if unit HP is under a hundred percent. That's kind of like her actual skill. It grants no. It does grant plus five attack plus speed during combat if unit initiates combat unit can make follow-up attack before a foe can counter attack so basically it's a brave bow if you're under 100 if you're under 100 percent of your hp and then of course penalty is anything that debuffs or uh yeah art and sacrifice that's fitting considering that she, oh god if I, I considering her sacrifice uh to put it blunt she has attack speed push uh, law, speed, defense, and close. She looks pretty stacked because, well, Bernadetta is quite a popular character. So, of course, they give any of the female units uh, these really absurd skills. Well, well, Bernadetta is left with nothing. And here we have Annette. Surprised she didn't come as a as a tome user because usually she yeah she's usually seen used as a mate, uh magic user, but probably because of her relic weapon being the Crusher. Seriously, the one of the most ugly ugly relic weapons. Like I don't understand what is that thing. Uh, okay, grants plus three attack, calculates damage using the lore and lore of foes defensor res. Uh, so that's like, it's like um, one of the rough skills that I believe female Grima has, female Robin Grima has. Just comes with a new skill, attack defense grip three, gap three, and she gets the uh, power crep attack speed plus. That basically gives you a lot of freaking points in arena. Obviously, that's what I remember playing back. Noblest of Nobles! I love that title, actually. That's really good. I'm just disappointed he does not say I am for Nev on Ire. Should have said it. He should have said it in the beginning of his opening intro. See, here we have uh, Vanguard Plus. If oh, yeah, yep, basic kit. Nothing really special. I mean, he gets Ruse Speed Defense 3 at the start of turn. 
which is cool, I guess. I mean, I don't play Fey anymore, but like, it's there, it's there. And here we have the one that everyone's gonna drop every goddamn orb possible. Child Prodigy, Prodigy Lizithia. Red, Red Tome, uh, and comes with Hades. Accelerate special trigger. That's cool. If unit initiates combat, grants plus four speed and attack during combat. And if unit special is ready, grants additional plus six attack during combat. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Leina's Le like, refinement that I can remember, where it's like, you get death blow on top of death blow. Basically stacking that, but you get speed this time. Uh, there's Moonbow. That's cool. Death blow four. That's gonna hurt. Wall speed res. That's pretty neat. And she comes with Time Pulse. That's kind of interesting considering her uh, her dilemma in the actual game. Mm, IS, IS knows what they're doing. They're, they know really what they're doing. So could that talk? <laughs> I mean, sorry, Dastards. We gotta, gotta, gotta say uh, Classier. Although Claude did say Dastards so could that talk? in his uh, final fight with... Uh, don't want to spoil it. But yeah, the, the banner is shaping up to be pretty cool, actually. Thanks so much for tuning into this uh, Fire Emblem Heroes video. I'm sorry if the, the with the double uploads, especially because the last one was kind of a uh, so post, and uh, no one really liked the idea of. Apparently, they don't like lawn weeds. But make sure you guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps a lot. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and comment below what you guys think about this banner. Let me know and what you guys think about like a net using Crusher instead of actually using a Cutting Gale, I believe in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next battle.